Easy, easy. for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. Citizens, how long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything spoil? was open to all cards What's going on here? Roland's in there, somewhere. And so is Erend, that other outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Erend said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. So did the Vanguard. That's what I said. Good luck getting through, outlander. It's, it's always the merchants who suffer. He doesn't look happy. Stop right there. In Lyridium without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. So, you're alive! This, uh, we should celebrate! It drinks on me! We need to talk, alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. 
So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. Give yourself some time. You'll find your footing. Not at the rate I've been drinking. And what would your sister have said about that? I know, you're right. I should expect more of myself. She always did. A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was... attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Owen. I need to know what he knows. But... he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Owen is working with them. But... I mean... this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Huh. So many people here all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. That girl. She must she be the spire. Check out these ways. It's huge. Apparently they're letting anyone into the city. Buy what you need, something's in the to the Syndicate, blood for blood, yeah. vengeance for Ursa. How long will Avad hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Again. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Hey, come back.
Poland's place is this way. Never smelled before. Is that some kind of spice? gonna get in. Is subtle. Here we are. Trying to then the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. This rug is frayed, and the floor near it is worn. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question it. Got a key you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Family. A lot of metal here. Could be just what I need. <laughs> Looks big and heavy. Could let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? to obey or they'd kill his family. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted.
A map. The glyphs show places he visited. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do. You're the one the Vanguard, the Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the Liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. Did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. If escape, and listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. I've got all... Take a look at these wares. There's a man who knows how to... Dark. You'll like what I have for Why sale. Does King of Odd attack now and finish them. You need to win three half-sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. You mean these? 
Very well then. Congratulations, and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No. You're only a fledgling. Junior members are a hawk. Need to find a Yes. But a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time. And I'm a friend. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Up to the Sunhawk Assis, our leader, who should do a hire. What do you mean? You'll see. By the sun! King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. Are you a member? No. Arja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Osaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. What edict? King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not gonna take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons, one for 15 half suns, one for 15 full suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a Hunter's Lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon for me.
Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? I think I got. Huh. Tell me, do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing, right now. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a Hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. Smoke and sweat. That's how you know you've done a good day's work. Adventurers, preferably with no friends or family. Oi there, Outlander. Name's V. Did you come to the city looking for oh, good shards? Enough to buy garb more becoming of your. Okay, stop there if you want me to hear you out. Uh, I own a well molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuke are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. Where's? Mm, more of an explorer. But you to do. <clears throat> more of a uh, girl. Uh, Nora girl. <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities. Risky opportunities. But why should risk lucre likes of me? Alright. I'm more of a gambler. What Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like... They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. So is there any more to the rumor about this? Hey, you're a... This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuke there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, Think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. 
Need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> it's on the edge of the new anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. <clears throat> the east. It's tough. You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. We'll try to keep some light in your hand. Another woman is rising in the Hunter's Lodge. About time. You're Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close. Like a talisman. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Oh, uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed Outlander. Then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices. Not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But... There are obstacles. While Meridian holds his breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No. But it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I did ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. A red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the red raids, with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. 
Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. Uh, what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asura who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glindhawks perched there, drawn to the spires shining. So, clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. You're disappointed with the sun priests. I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away. And he said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled heir of a new son. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For King's will. His punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, to honor their memories,